Hello everyone, it's Kay. How's it going today? So this is the 5th of December 2020 on Saturday and this is a recorded video. So every Saturdays I talk about uh, many topics like psychology, money management and some strategies. So I would like to talk about the USCC ADPR which I talked about yesterday and now it's going down. So I will share with you how I would take a trade on this USCC ad yesterday. So uh, let's get started now. So uh, here is the um, little disclaimer that this information is basically based on my experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. So yesterday I said that the uh, USCC it is downtrending, so I'm looking for the buy chance. I was mentioning that the forward chart was going down and also the daily chart was going down too. And yesterday's video, I said that the uh, you better take the forward chart because in 4, the Kumo is longer and the angle is more decent. So in this case, I would take the 4-hour chart and if when we lo when we are looking at the 1-hour chart on yesterday's live stream, the Kijun Sen was flat. So the Kijun Sen was flat here the whole time. See, um, and the market has been consolidating for a while. So what I said was the, uh, I think we were recording the video, I mean, the doing the live stream yesterday, roughly like in this area, uh, and I said that I will be waiting for the Kijun Sen Kumo to go down this way. <clears throat> so um, let me do the bar replay. So it was like this when we were seeing the market. So I said that you know you better wait until the Kumo go down and Kijun Sen go down this way in one hour chart, because because the four hour chart is going down still. I expect the market to go down continuously, but when you see Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, that means that the market might come back to this uh, Kijun Sen or Kumo, and that's why we better wait until they go down. So if I just do the Broadway play a little bit forward, then you see here the Kijun Sen start point down this way, and also this um, Senkos Ban A is pointing down too. Senkos Ban B flat, but because we see A down. And Kijun Sen down at this time at the uh, 12 UTC yesterday in the 4th of December. Uh, Kijun Sen Kumo Senko Span A should to move down this way. And also Chikou Span is below the candle still. So this is a potential that the market go down this way, breaks the recent low downwards this way. So this is when look at the lower time frames to look for the sell chance. So I will switch the 5 minute chart and um, let me show you the Bollinger Bands and Stochastics. Let me cancel the Ichimoku for now. And what I usually watch is, as for indicators, I look at the Bollinger Band and Stochastics. So now we see Stochastics being dead crossing and it's about to be gold crossing. So I will wait for another dead cross to happen and that will be the sell confirmation. And also, as, as time goes by, we might see the Bollinger Band squeeze more and that will be the second confirmation to enter the cell. And also if we see a uh, like a recent low break on this 5 minute chart, that will be another great cell chance too. So every time I look for at least 3 confirmations. Sometimes I look for 4 or 5 confirmations to enter into the market based on the lower time frames. And in this case, I only look for the sell chance, by the way, because we saw this is downtrending. In 4 hour chart, 1 hour chart, this is downtrending. So I expect the market go down. Right now, we have in 5 minute chart, we have this reversed end wave consecutive. So I expect the market go down on this reverse end wave as well. So let's see what happens um, a couple minutes later. So let me just forward based on the 5 minute chart now. So, yeah, Stochastic is gold crossing, but not to sell yet. I will wait for the Stochastic dead cross and also a Bollinger Band squeeze more. So, let's see. Oh, so before the squeeze happens, the market spiked down. So, it was a break. It was a break of the recent low downwards this way. But still, the Stochastic is not dead crossing yet. I would wait for the dead cross and also we find that the uh, this is band walking. Now the price is below the division one and division two. Also, the market spiked down this way, 
So the bundle lock-in is actually one of my confirmations and the recent low break is another confirmation. So let me just run the market a little bit more until I see a three confirmations. So the market retraced backwards. Okay, now we, I see the, um, the scarcity dead cross and also price is now looking like this uh, reverse in the wave, like this way, still. And I want to see whether this is going to be one of the Fibonacci lines. So I would take the Fibonacci retracement tool. Um, yeah, this one, I will take the Fibonacci retracement and I will drag it from the top to the bottom. And yes, I can exactly see that this is at the 61.8% retracement. And looks like the market has been respecting this area and now going down on this reverse in the wave. So this that will be the second confirmation. So I have the stochastic dead cross as first confirmation. Um, and also uh, re resisted by this 61.8% uh, as the second confirmation. And over here, this is also like a reversal line. The former supports is becoming now resistance. So this is actually the third confirmation. I have this uh, resistance here, uh, the previous support as a reversal line at this uh, 1.28477 area. And this is a third confirmation and I take a sell. So I would take a sell right now. And in this case, a stop loss is going to be above the recent high. So let me cancel this um, Fibonacci and my stop loss will be above the recent high, which is at this level. And pips wise, the stop loss in this case is um, yeah, 30 pips, 31 pips of stop loss, which is decent. And I will take 2% risk and take a sell. And I expect the market once again goes down on this reverse in the wave because we are following the downtrend in higher time frames. So afterwards, what happened is that the, uh, the market never hit the stop loss and keeps going down this way. So, yeah, so this is actually the entry timing that I capture. So I think it's better to talk about the USDC pair as I talked yesterday. So if you missed the yesterday's slide, please watch and watch this video again because you will see exactly what I was waiting for. So, yep, thank you, for jo uh, thank you for watching the video until the end. If you liked it, please press a good button and make sure to subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these live videos every day. So tomorrow, there will be a uh, Sunday's uh, weekly forecast. Let me squeeze a little bit like this. Yeah, so tomorrow is going to be Sunday. I do the weekly forex forecast. It's going to be live. So I will see you on live or for those who are Ichimoku members, I will see you on the Ichimoku membership live soon. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.